Good day everyone, this is me, Alexis R. Osorio, and today we will have grade 8 mathematics about equation of a line. In this lesson, we will learn how to get the equation of a line given two points. So, for us to find the equation of the line given two points, we will just remember this form of equation, the two-point form of equation of a line. So, this is y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. So, dito lang natin substitute yung ating uh, given two points to get the equation of a line. So, remember this two-point form of equation of a line. Let's have examples. Number one, write the equation of a line through the points negative 1, 2, and 4, 7. Okay, so first thing to do, uh, let us assign values for x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Dahil two points ang given natin, dapat alam natin kung alin yung first point at second point. Pwedeng magkabaliktad ang lagay natin dito. Yung x sub 1, y sub 1 can be the other uh, point. Hindi naman magkakaiba ng sagot dahil same lang ang makukuha natin. Okay, so first is write our formula or the two-point form of the equation of a line. y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Dahil alam na natin yung value ni x sub 1, that is negative 1, y sub 1, positive 2, x sub 2 ay 4, y sub 2 ay 7, we will just substitute it to the formula. Okay, so ganito ang kalalabasan dahil sinubstitute natin, wag lang tayong magkakamali ng lagay. y minus yung y sub 1 natin is 2. That is why y minus 2 equals y sub 2 natin is 7, y sub 1 natin is 2, kaya naging 7 minus 2 over ang x sub 2 natin ay 4 minus ang x sub 1 natin negative 1. And then multiply it by x minus ang value ng x sub 1 is negative 1. So, nag-substitute lang tayo dito. And then, afterwards, we will just simplify it. Okay. So, ang nabago lang dito is yung sa denominator natin, yung 4 minus the quantity negative 1. Okay, naging 4 plus 1 because negative times negative will give us positive. The same thing as x minus the quantity negative 1 naging x plus 1. So, yun lang muna yung ating ginawa. And then, let's simplify. Okay, magiging y minus 2 is equal to 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 over 4 plus 1 naging 5. So, naging 5 over 5 times the quantity x plus 1. Okay, so itong 5 over 5, okay, so this is by simplifying uh, and then, yung 5 over 5, pwedeng maging 1. Because 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Okay, so dito sa part na to, gagamit tayo ng uh, distributive property. Para itong si 1, ma-distribute natin at ma-multiply kay x plus 1. So, this will be 1 times x and then 1 times 1. Okay, so yan ang distributive property. Okay, so that will give us y minus 2 is equal to x plus 1. Okay, so ngayon, ang hinahanap natin is equation of a line. So, dapat y lang yung nasa kaliwa natin kung yan ay slope-intercept form. So, magdadagdag tayo ng positive 2 to both sides of the equation. That is by the use of APE.
you already know how to use addition property of equality. So, after adding positive 2 to both sides of the equation, we will now simplify. Magiging y is equal to x plus 3. So, therefore, this is our equation. Pwede natin siyang i-change into standard form. Okay, pero uh, dahil nakuha na natin itong slope intercept form, pwede dito na lang ay matapos na tayo. So, the equation of the line uh, through the points negative 1, 2, and 4, 7 is y is equal to x plus 3. So, hindi tayo malilito dito kung alam lang natin yung formula or the two-point form of the equation of the line because you will just substitute all the given values of x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 in the two-point form. And then, just follow the procedure. You will get the equation of the line. Okay, another example. So, for our second example, we have write the equation of the line through the points 1, negative 3, and 6, 2. Okay, the next step, or the first step, rather, you need to assign values for x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Kahit alin sa dalawang points na to, ang gawin natin x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, same pa rin ang magiging sagot natin sa pinakang huling part or process of uh, of this uh, equation. So now, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, ayan, we just assigned their values. So next is, we are going to write down the two-point form of the equation of the line. Okay y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. The same process dun sa una nating example, we will just substitute all the given values. This will be y minus negative 3 is equal to 2 minus negative 3 over 6 minus 1 times x minus 1. Okay, so dito pa lang, pwede na natin gawin itong uh, maging y plus 3. Bakit maging plus? Okay, because that is negative times negative, that will give us positive. And then, yung nasa numerator natin, 2 minus negative 3, that will be, that will be 2 plus 3. Okay, so yun lang yung ating ginawa dito or uh, nabago sa part na ito. And then, let us just simplify. So, 2 plus 3, that will be 5. 6 minus 1, magiging 5 then. So, that is by simplifying or simplify. 5 over 5 is also equal to 1. So, magiging y plus 3 is equal to 1 times x minus 1. Dito sa part na to, if we need to multiply 1 to x minus 1 using distributive property of equality. Or, we need to distribute 1 to x minus 1. The same process as the first example. So, this will be... Uh, 1 times x, and then 1 times negative 1. Okay, so, ang mangyayari dyan, magiging y plus 3 is equal to x minus 1. To get the equation of the line, uh, also in slope-intercept form, y lang dapat ang nasa kaliwa. But, there is still positive 3. So, we need to think of the additive inverse of positive 3 and then we will add it to both sides of the equation. And that will be y plus 3 minus 3 is equal to x minus 1 minus 3. So, nagdagdag tayo ng negative 3 to both sides of the equation by using APE. 
Okay, now let us just simplify. This will be y is equal to x minus 4. And this is our final answer. This is the equation of the line. Okay, so pwede rin naman natin itong gawin na standard form if you want. Okay, pero titigil na tayo dito. And then, just don't forget to remember the two-point form of the equation of the line para hindi malito. Dahil kapag ka sinunod mo lang ang process na ito, you will get the equation of the line given two points easily. Okay. For today, thank you for watching this video. See you next time.